Hello everyone and welcome back to another Emasi Chess Game from the history of chess and in the chess game White is Emmanuel Lesker and his opponent is Arthur Sandberg and this was a 29 board chess simul from 1924 from Boston, Massachusetts, United States, May 24. Let's check out how this chess game went on. I'm using an imaginary picture of Arthur Sandberg as he has no picture. So let's see what happened in this chess game, and I believe this was a must-see chess game by Emmanuel Lesker. So in this chess game, Emmanuel Lesker starts the game with playing e4, g6. Emmanuel Lesker's opponent, who is playing with the black pieces, he responds with g6, pushing the pot, and then f4 by Lesker. This is known as the three pawns attack, b6, double fianchetto, bishop to d3, e6, Lesker castled. Knight to e7, knight to c3, d6, knight to e2, knight to a6, c3, queen to d7, knight to g3, also Sandberg castled, from the opposite direction, a4 by Lesker, pushing the pawn and immediately attacking, rook from d to f8, and Lesker continues his advancement, a5, knight to b8. Well, in this position, Emmanuel Lesker wants to open the a-file, so he captured the pawn. A takes on b6, but now the a file is open, he can use the rook. So pushing the pawn also Sandberg is attacking b5 by Lesker. Creating a close position for his opponent. Gaining the space advantage from the king side. h4 pushing the pawn, attacking the knight, defending, pushing the pawn. Rook to a7, infiltrating on the 7th rank. e5, bishop to e3, f5. Well, in this position, Lesker pushed the pawn. F takes on e4. Emmanuel Lesker captured the pawn and then queen takes on b5. It looks like Lesker is losing. Losing the pawn. Is this losing? Well, Sandberg was probably very happy and very excited at this moment of this chess game. Lesker is developing the knight, but then capturing one more pawn. It looks like Lesker ruined this chess game. Black has two extra pawns, plus the attack. In the surface, on the surface, it looks like white is losing. Attacking the bishop too. And black has a dangerous knight. What would you do in this position? Well, Lesker played knight to e6, leaving the bishop, what a move by Lesker. So knight takes on e3. What was the idea of Lesker? Forking the queen and the rook. On the surface, it looks like Lesker is losing. What would you do in this position? Can you guess the next move of Emmanuel Lesker? Well, maybe it is time to create some brilliancy. Lesker indeed created a brilliancy over the chessboard. What would you do? Probably you have never seen this chess game before. Maybe this was one of the most beautiful and incredible chess games that you have never seen before. Lesker's next move is an incredible move. Emmanuel Lesker sacrificed the queen. What a move by Lesker. Incredible. Plus he's attacking the king, threatening checkmate. So black has to capture the queen. Well, in this position, if knight takes on f1, then bishop takes on b7, checkmate. There is no defense. And black is getting checkmated. So as you can see, Maybe black has to accept the sacrifice. So in this position, Lesker captured the pawn. And then accepting the sacrifice. But then bishop takes on b7. Did you see the queen sacrifice? If you did, well then. King to d7. Attacking the knight. At this moment of the game, Lesker doesn't have his queen. Black has the queen. But then Lesker has the attack. Bishop to d5. Check. Discovered check with the rook. Also defending the knight. There are not many safe suckers for the king. We have king to e8. Black didn't want to play king to c8 because of rook to c7. Check, mate. There is no defense. And black is getting checkmated. So after king to d7, Emmanuel Lesker is checking the king. Bishop to d5 and king to e8. Not moving here because of the checkmate threat. But then knight takes on g7. Check, king to d8. Checking the king. King to c8 is not possible, so king to e8. 
Unbelievable, unbelievable. And then knight to c7 and Lesker is getting back the piece. Checking the king, king to d8 and then capturing the queen. Lesker is a piece up. Black is getting the free piece. Knight takes on d5, equalizing the material but attacking the knight. Rook to d1. Capturing the pawn, but then Emmanuel Lesker captured the knight. E takes on f4 and then capturing the pawn. Check. King to eight. Capturing the pawn, attacking the knight. Defending. Attacking the knight again. Rook to h7. What would you do in this position? Black is defending the knight. Well, of course, Lesker is checking the king. Moving the king. What else? Again, what would you do? Lesker captured the knight. Rook takes on d7 and black resigned. What an incredible, unbelievable chess game by Emmanuel Lesker. That queen sacrifice was an incredible move. Well, the possible continuation is very obvious. Capturing the rook and then bang. Rook takes on f8 and Lesker is a piece up. An incredible chess game by Lesker. And this was an amazing chess game. So in this position after rook takes on d7. Black resigned, deflecting the king, attacking the king, and then capturing the rook is the plan. And at this moment of this chess game, did you see? The queen sacrifice, queen takes on d6, and everything is falling apart after this position, plus threatening checkmate with the bishop and with the queen. But after capturing the queen, everything is falling apart for black. An incredible chess game by Emmanuel Lesker. So this is the last position of this fantastic chess game. Rook takes on d7 and black resigned. Because of this obvious continuation, rook takes on f8. And this is losing, deflecting the kick and winning the rook. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time with more incredible chess games like this. Take care and goodbye.